Although Newton and Leibniz are today both regarded as independent discoverers of the calculus, and that's, that's a fair assessment, what they did was actually quite different in style, and if you'd looked at it at the time, you would not necessarily have recognised that they were doing the same thing. Newton's calculus is very much based in ideas of motion and physical matter. Leibniz's is much more algorithmic, much more algebraic. Leibniz was a logician. He did things very logically. He liked to have an algorithm for what he was doing. He liked to lay down rules. And once he'd laid down the rules, all you had to do was follow them. This is very different from Newton's approach. And so what you see in Leibniz's calculus really is a set of rules for differentiating, for integrating, and you don't need to understand how those rules work. You simply need to learn them and apply them. Whereas Newton's calculus, although it leads in the end to the same formulation, is based on a much different idea of, of geometric or physical motion. So they're conceptually very different and as I say someone at the time looking in at these two, two discoveries wouldn't immediately have recognised that these two people were working on the same thing even.